Journalists are guided by the commitment to truth and pinned by an ethical code enshrined in the laws of Kenya. We urge those aggrieved by the media to seek redress through the Media Complaints Commission established under the Media Council Act and where <coughs> necessary through the courts. Kenya Media Sector Working Group stands in solidarity with the National Media Group and all journalists in the country against attacks and threats from the government and government officials. We also call on President William Bruto to issue and firm assurance that they will not be allowed to seek shelter by trying to silence the media that exposes their mistreats. We are also calling on the international community to intervene and protect media freedom. And this has been signed by 12 organizations which are under the umbrella of Kenya Media Center Working Group. And that is Kenya Union of Journalists, Kenya Editors Guild, Kenya Correspondents Association, Association of Freelance Journalists, Association of Media Women in Kenya, Digital Broadcasters Association, International Association of Women in Radio and TV, Article 19, Eastern African Editors Society, Frederick Norman Foundation for Freedom, Association of Professional Broadcasters, and Media Owners Association. We urge the government to stop targeting and intimidating the media, which is only discharging its responsibility to the public. Instead of the government should respond to concerns by Kenyans on the scandals exposed by the media in the past 10 months, including the diversion of condemned sugar into the market, repackaging and sale of subsidized fertilizer, questions over cancer, especially on the mosquito net fund, concerns over the management of NHIF, which have rendered it unable to serve Kenyans, the questions over favoritism in the duty-free commodity imports, including edible oils, maize, and rice. The use of advertising revenue as a tool to blackmail the media. Interference with independent institutions, especially National Lands Commission. The Shakahola Hora. Failure to investigate and take action against those responsible for attacks against journalists, especially during the recent public protests over skyrocketing prices of essential commodities, among other key issues. We wish to state that the media never took a collective position in support of any specific candidates in the 2022 elections. We call on the government to stop this and call for propaganda and continued hostile political rhetoric against the media and journalists. We view this as an attempt to blackmail and untwist the media into seizing scrutiny of the government and those wielding power and authority. As media, we affirm our commitment to discharging our role, including holding this regime to account for the good of Kenyans, as we have done previous regimes since independence, and restate that we will not be cowed into submission. <laughs>